Hello, hello. Welcome into another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Sarah. And I'm Matt. Today we're going to be talking about Compass Box and a couple of the expressions they have out right now. Uh, we're going to be talking about the Spice Tree and the Spice Tree Extravaganza. Okay, Compass Box. They're awesome. This whiskey from uh, John Glazer was founded in 2000. He's an American, ends up living over in the UK. He's uh, fanatical about sourcing and uh, about blending a different oak, and an oak is king. Um, the challenge basically is breaking the mold and telling the SWA to piss off. So, so basically be transparent. Tell us where your crap is coming from. For God's sakes, what is so difficult about this? <laughs> Why do so many people have an issue with that? For real, it's like, it's not like I can go make it. I wanted to go buy barrels and go, oh, look, I can make it. It's impossible. I can't get the same barrels you can get. Yeah, okay. Even if I, got... I couldn't, even if I knew the mash. Exactly. It's not possible. It's just, yeah. it's just not. I mean, I can make cool stuff in a glass, but I mean, actually doing it? I mean, come on. Tell us what you're, what's in the damn bottle. It's not that big of a deal. But yeah, so basically, blending is creativity. Woods King. Age statements mean nothing. No coloring or chill filtering is what he's in. Drink the whiskey you want, because that's the way it should be. I mean, he's got multiple ranges, includes grains, he's got blended malts, he's got single, he's got double, he's got, he's got every kind of blend there is. He, he doesn't care. All that matters is, does it taste good? And their website's amazing, because actually, on each of these bottles, if you go on their website, it's really cool. It'll tell you what's in each of these bottles, which is really cool. Now, some of them, they'll say, well, it's a Highland. Well, they can't tell you what it is, but if you email them, they'll tell you what's in it, but you can't tell them what they tell you what's in it. Which is kind of a cool thing. It's like, they'll still tell you. Yeah. They're like, well, the student SUA says we can't freaking show you. I'm like, well, whatever. But they'll tell you if you send them an email, which is pretty cool. So the first one is Spice Tree, which this today was really mad about because they made these really cool barrels. And like, oh, that barrel is not special enough. We can't do that. So this is basically, they came back and said, fine, we'll just change our rules, whatever. So they put different spires inside of the barrels and they, well, you can't combine this kind of woods. It's illegal. It doesn't follow our guidelines, so like whatever. So what they did is in this new version is they took American heads for the barrels, and then it's um, the bodies are, are French oaks. Or sorry, it's French oak heads and American bodies. And so since the, no, the old ones are no longer available, since they're illegal. But anyway, this one is 60% Clanish, 20% Daloon, and 20% Tinnakic. If that's how you pronounce it, thanks, Roy. Please help us. We have no idea what we're doing, but that's great. Anyway. <laughs> They, uh, they're married for two years in four different types of casts. One is a, van is a vanilla toast, a 25% infrared, 22% high mocha toast, 32% first fill American, 21 is then the bottle. And then, it turned, then they take it all into one marrying vat and then they put the interstate and they put it together and that ends up making. So basically, the wood that they use is 195 year old barrels that the wood's from from this forest, which is really cool. So this is a, a really unique whiskey and it's another way to tell the SA to piss off. <laughs> Good job, John Glazer. I appreciate it. Cheers, sir. Cheers, Cheers sir. sir. So, let's see oh, what this the nose is beautiful. Um, moderate intensity. Definitely smells like used oak and not new. It's a malted barley. Uh, it smells like a malt. I get a lot of baking spices on it. Mm -hmm. Nutmeg, cinnamon, vanilla, clove mm. and allspice, ginger. I get butterscotch and caramel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sweetness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, toffee, vanilla, cinnamon, ginger, ginger, nutmeg. Love it. It's floral. It's got green apple, cloves. I'm finding like nectarine mm. and fig. A little Ooh, bit of yeah. a dried it's, fruit it's kind like of. A, it's like a fruit cornucopia in here. It is. But it's also got some unlit pipe tobacco paper in here. Yeah. This is just good. It just smells great. And this is a blended malt. So once again, this is a blended malt. It's just three different single malt distilleries combined in here. So it's all malt from these three different distilleries. So, so there's no grain in here whatsoever. Mmm, that smells so good. It just smells. I'm going in. Oh, it's spicy. It's spicy and oh, it's yeah. rich and it's It lives sweet. up to its name, right? Yeah. Oh. Mm. Again with the baking spices, the mm -hmm. vanilla, the cinnamon, mm -hmm. the honey. All spice. The oak. It, it's uh, it's complex, but mm -hmm. it's not. Yeah, it's toffee. It's yeah, warm. it's an easy sipper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's easy sipper. This zipper. could become a background, but it strives for some attention as well. Yeah. I it wants your attention, but I feel like it could fall into the background if it needed to. Yeah, I mean, for the price, I think it's like 60 bucks. It's not bad. Oh, wow. Price no, price. that's not bad. That's, yeah, that's you a, could totally just drink this daily and it's fantastic. Oh, yeah. 
I would be thrilled to buy this every day for this price. And it's what's the ABV on this? Forty six percent. Forty six. Yeah, but it's you know it's toffee, minutes. it's rich, creamy. It's got some white chocolate in it. It's buttery, a little shortbread, cloves. Mm. It's it's just really good. It is really good. I like that. I wish we'd get a hold of one of those illegal barrels and see what that thing tastes like. <laughs> I think it was even better. This is really cool. Nobody's complaining, that's for sure. This is it's really got, good stuff. It's got a lingering it's got not, a long finish. Yeah. It's still kind of going and and it's just like just spreading. Mm hmm I like it. How's the water do? Water dialed down the sweetness, uh, dialed up the black pepper ding, um, mm. dialed up a little bit of the cinnamon and the clove, dialed down some of the sweetness. I like it. All right. Either way. Yeah. That clove just goes on and on to finish. It does. Mm hmm This is a really tasty whiskey. And with water, again, it kind of intensifies some, yeah. some of those darker, deeper notes, like the clove. That is really good whiskey. Mm hmm I like that a lot. Well named. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fantastic stuff. This is Spice Tree Extravaganza, limited edition. Came out on August of 2016. Only made 12,240 bottles. It's a little older. It's also finished in a sherry cask. Uh, this one's 13.6 Glen Ord, 17.2 Ben Rias, 2.6 Alta Behan, I don't know. 27.7% Highland Malt Blend and 4.3 Highland Malt. This is the part where you email and say, what the hell is in here? <laughs> and also, Roy, please help us. I don't know. All right, so let's go into the note. It's also 46% like the other one. It's just richer. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You can tell right off the nose that it's Ooh. richer. Dark yeah. berries and sweetness, and I can get some of that sherry off of it. This oh, has a nose. creamier oh. texture yeah. on the nose. It feels it's more rounded. cohesive. Yeah, it's got a lot of toffee. All the flavors mm. are coming A lot of together. berries. Uh, black, mm. blue, dark red. Berries. Dark berries. Dark, dark yeah. berries. Ah, oh, it smells so good. Blackberry yeah. and currant, and maybe even plum. Mm. This is this is berries, but like those dark dark you were saying. Fruit. Yeah, they're both they're all in there. Yeah, this yeah. is just a crazy amount of berries. This is just a huge step up from just the normal spice tree. Yeah, it's no, that's also got the cinnamon. They're playing in the same ballpark. Yeah. Yeah, this one's just. This is better. It's just, just deeper. I don't know if it's older. I would imagine this is probably older stuff. I mean, just from the nose on it. But I mean, I don't know that for sure. I'm guessing, but more than likely it is. But it's also got sherry. Oh, it's got the old wood on it though. The so I think sherry it's brings a lot toward for it. And almonds. So there's some almonds there too. Ah, oh, it just smells so good. Mm -hmm. you could just live in the nose. Oh yeah. I remember when I opened this thing up like. Probably like so about a year ago or so, I was like, oh, oh my god, the nose tasted it so good. I'm like, because this so funny thing. So, Spice Tree was actually the very first compass box. Says I thought all blended whiskey was crap, which I didn't understand at the time what blended malts were, but I know what they are now. I'm like, so of course, once again, whiskey vault, it's all Daniel's fault. That so, compass the Spice Tree, the original was the first one. I was like, oh my gosh, this is awesome! Like, holy crap, I've been missing this my whole life. And then I get the extravaganza, mind blowing good. That is I was like, yeah, how is... can a blend taste this? But then I find out, oh, it's a blended malt. It's like, I didn't know you could even do that. This is a really big thing, and Scotch is not knowing the difference between all those that just put all these single malts together. It just makes a glorious whiskey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it smells so good. It's berries for days on the, on the taste. Brown sugar, ginger, clove. It's... Mmm. Mmm. Tons of berries. It's it's like a berry mm. salad, man. Yeah, a berry salad. <laughs> Who needs the rest of the fruit? Just the berries. It's cinnamon. Oh, it's so good. Nutmeg, ginger. Baking spices on it. Yeah. Like you're gonna make yourself like a raspberry pie oh. or oh, yeah. something like that. That it's, sounds good. Yeah, it does. How's the water oh, treat it? The water makes it richer and deeper and darker. Yeah, darker. It takes away some of the sweetness. Yeah. Um, and more of the darker elements are coming through. Um, uh, I think I prefer it without the water, but it's really good both ways. <laughs> yeah. Um, wow, that first sip was just something outstanding. Um, yeah, the water adds though. The water, the water does change it up. It gives more of the darker notes into it. 
Ooh. Even without the water, though, you still get a lot yeah. of rush. It's, it's good really both good ways. both ways, yeah. The water does just bring all of that darkness forward, though. It's so It's, it's the dark to the light of the mm -hmm. <laughs> regular spice drink. Bru buttery shortbread, and super rich, creamy, it's got some marshmallow. It's just, oh, it's good. It's so good. Yeah, I like this one a lot. If you can find it, like I said, it's only 12,000 bottles, but that's worldwide. I mean, I've seen it on the markets. It's still, see, it, it's not going to be as easy to find, but it's still out there. And it's not, it's like a hundred bucks. It's not too bad, but completely worth it. I mean, if yeah, you can, if you can afford it, it, spend that 40 bucks more and get the freaking extravaganza because it's just that. Mm -hmm. Or get them both and compare them because it's awesome. Yeah. yeah, yeah good comparison. Yeah. You're not going to be disappointed in either one. No, no. It's, it's great whiskey. No, if you can't find the other you're going to be fine with the one that you picked up. That being said, the extravaganza is, is something special. Mm -hmm. Oh Yeah, they're, they're both really fantastic whiskeys. Oh, wonderful. Good choices, Matt. Mm -hmm. Until next time, keep on crusading for better whiskey in the glass. Cheers. Cheers.